Rome is a vast city, and it is absolutely packed with ancient historical sites and things to see and do. The majority of the city's historical treasures are located quite centrally, so if you want to explore all the major sites easily, you should look at staying in one of the central parts of town. You can travel around Rome easily on the metro subway system, but there are only four lines, so it isn't the most extensive network. The city has a good bus service, and a tram network too. In this video, I'll show you the best places to stay in Rome. If you are a history lover, or if you just want to stay in beautiful and scenic surroundings, then you should consider using the historical center of the city as your base. This district of Rome is located just to the west of the modern center, on the banks of the river Tiber. The area spreads out around the old Roman Forum, and is absolutely packed with fabulous Renaissance architecture, and any number of historical sites. Rome is the only city in the world that contains an entirely self-contained sovereign nation. The Vatican, the home of the Pope and the seat of the Catholic Church is a wholly independent state from the rest of Italy, and the smallest country in the world. There are some spectacular things to see at the Vatican, and if you want to stay nearby, then the district of Borgo is an excellent choice. Colosseo is the area of Rome that surrounds the ancient Roman Colosseum, one of the city's most impressive sites. Colosseo is a central part of the city just south of the modern centre and east of the historical centre. These suburbs of Rome to the north of the city centre, Villa Borghese and Perioli are wealthy and attractive parts of town, and delightful places to stay, if you can afford it. The tourist highlight of this part of Rome is the spectacular Villa Borghese Gardens, stunningly ornate landscapes gardens that contain spectacular buildings, and the excellent Villa Borghese Museum. The art gallery here has splendid sculptures and paintings, including works by Caravaggio, Raffle, and Titian. Trastevere is a Roman suburb on the west bank of the river Tiber just to the south of the Vatican. This part of Rome is an excellent choice for travellers on a budget. It's a very cosmopolitan area, and is home to two large universities. Trastevere is packed with good value restaurants and bars, pubs, clubs and nightlife. If you're looking for a hip, relaxed and inviting part of town, Trastevere is a great option. Testaccio is a district of Rome that is located off of the main tourist path on the south side of the city. This is an excellent part of town if you want to sample everyday Roman life outside of the most touristy parts of the city. The districts of Esquilino and San Giovanni are central districts of Rome just to the south of the Termini railway station. Because of the central location, these districts are very convenient for getting to the major sites and tourist attractions using the city's metro subway system. San Lorenzo is a vibrant, student-friendly, slightly down at heel area of Rome just to the southeast of Rome's Termini train station. It's great for budget travellers, people seeking fun nightlife, but perhaps not the best choice for families. Ostia is a suburb of Rome that is so far out of Rome's centre that many people consider it to be a separate town. It isn't, though, Ostia is a suburb of the city over on the western side of Rome, next to the Mediterranean. Ostia was very important in ancient Roman times since it was the central harbour city of the Roman Empire's capital. There are some ancient ruins here at Ostia Anticar, where the river Tiber meets the sea. The ruins are open to tourists, and there's an on-site museum housing the most significant finds. Monte Aria is the oldest in Rome. It was the place where the gladiators lived, far away from the rich Romans in ancient times. It was regarded as a dangerous district at one time even in more modern times, but today it offers fine restaurants and a vibrant nightlife. The Spignito colourful area is a tram ride of 15 minutes from Rome's centre, but what is that to make your base in an ever-improving, hipster district? You will find street art and murals as well as interesting graffiti. World travellers often liken it to Brooklyn in New York. Some tourists to Rome go specifically to see the Vatican. If that is you, Prati is a neighbourhood located between the River Tiber and the Vatican. It is within walking distance, so you can arrive early to get ahead of the crowds if you wish. This former industrial district, Ostien says some distance from the main tourist areas, but there are compensations. You will have a half-hour journey into the main Rome attractions each day, but your base offers a real feel of today's Rome with great street art, a vibrant nightlife and good food. You are in the heart of tourist Rome if you choose Tridente as your base. Here you will find the famous Trevi Fountain, and if you walk on, the Spanish Steps. Both appear in the list of top 10 things to see in Rome. Campo de Fiori and the ghetto was once the very centre of ancient Rome. Remember cities in those days were nowhere near the scale of modern cities. As a result, you can walk around an area that was once the place where a huge empire was administered. After watching all about the fantastic things to see and do in Rome, I'm sure you can't wait to get started with planning your visit. By now, you should have chosen a part of town that appeals to you, and all of your questions about where to stay in Rome should have been answered. 
so why not get a hotel booked and get on your way to visit Italy's thrilling capital? Enjoy your trip.